So apparently this thing's not cooling. Starting to get some cottonwood built up on there. Uh, they have another company, a maintenance company that comes out here and does all their cleaning, changes their filters, blah, 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 which would explain why these metal mesh screen filters are gone. So uh, I'll make note of that, but like I said, we don't do anything with that apparently. So visually, I mean, I can hear a condensing fan motor running. At least one, maybe two, I don't know. All right, feels like they're both running. Let's see if our blower's moving. Blower's not doing nothing. That's cool. Let's see if we got anything going on in here. Nothing going on in here. That's not good. We just keep plugging along here. Let's see. Nothing going on in this circuit. Feels hot to the touch. Like it's, feels like it's been running. Just very, very hot. It says it's cooling. Let's see if there's any error codes. Whoops, I want data. There we go. So, data. Uh, let's go with uh, history. Alarms. Waiting, wait, com failure, uh, let's see outdoor temperature sensor, that's like common on all these, that seems to be it. So nothing to lead me in any direction. I mean, I don't see any obvious oil stains. I mean, I was looking to see if maybe we would be off on low pressure. Ooh. Ah, I missed it. One of these guys was just trying to run. I'm assuming it would have been compressor number one, which is B1, which would have been that back guy there. So let's get this thing out here. Why is our front compressor not running though? Let's see if we're in, uh, if we're doing a call for a single stage or two stages. Alright, there's our single stage, or our first stage rather. Yeah, so we're calling for two stages of cooling. Let's double check. It's gonna take a second for that to reset anyway, so let's uh oh look at that. All three compressor contactors. Well, excuse me. All three contactors are pulled in. Two of them are our compressors and one is our blower motor. And our blower motor wasn't moving. I have a feeling we don't have enough power. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're only, we're only measuring 89 volts. 208 right there. 125, so yeah, we're missing some voltages. Let's power this guy down before we do any damage. Any further damage to this thing. Well, that's, we're now looking at a fused disconnect, so. Let's 
pull that and we'll check incoming voltage at our disconnect. So immediately, uh, again, I don't know if this is coming across on camera very well, but I can immediately tell that far right leg is having some issues because it's charred, partially melted. I assume that uh, that disconnect has gone bad. So I'm gonna check for voltage right there. And if I do have proper voltage, I'm gonna go downstairs and uh, I'll just shut it off at the breaker and we'll end up bypassing this disconnect for now until a new one can be ordered. All right, I do have it back on just so I can measure voltage going out. 208, 208, 208. So we have correct voltage going in. 208, 208. So we do have correct voltage now. It's probably because I turned it off and turned it back on. Not even really measuring a voltage drop across there. Let's go back to our compressor that I checked. Eight, eight, eight. All right, so I inadvertently, I don't want to say fix the problem, but by re-snapping those contact points inside that disconnect, I just gave it a better connection, which it will eventually fail again once it gets real hot out. Uh, so I'm still going to bypass it. They still need to replace that. So. Let's go get some big wire nuts. We'll uh, power that off at the breaker and we'll bypass that and order a new one. Disconnect has been removed and also bypassed. I see it right there. You can see it's melted. It's failed. Should no longer be in the circuit. I might pull that thing apart just to look at it. Yeah, we're all nice and tight and secure. I kind of went a little overboard on zip ties and securing it um, because I honestly don't know if they're going to approve anything. Once they see that it's working, they just might say, yeah, whatever. And then also, I wrote on the interior that the disconnect has failed, turn off at the breaker, as well as the panel that once covered the disconnect. So just so the next guy can be safe. Whether it's me or you or whoever it is, I wanna make sure nobody gets hurt. So, always try to read stuff. Like I said, hopefully they do approve the quote, but um, what I've been noticing is sometimes if they absolutely do not need to approve something, they won't, despite me saying you absolutely need to do this because it's a safety concern. Uh, obviously, it's not code. I need to have a service disconnect at the unit for safety reasons. Um, but any of you guys that are in the restaurant industry, I'm sure you know that they don't always listen to us. So anyway, I'm gonna go kick this onto the breaker and we'll see what happens. We're on at the breaker downstairs. Compressor just came on, pulling 7.6 amps. We're in cooling. We should kick over in stage uh, two cooling very shortly. The blower appears to be going the correct direction. Denser fan motors are blowing. Let's see, we probably don't have a very low supply temp just yet. 85 and dropping, but literally it's been running for 42 seconds. So we'll give it a break, guys. Let's wait for uh, stage two to engage. I don't know how long the system's been operating like this, but hopefully the compressors didn't undergo any sort of permanent damage from trying to run with minimal power. Circuit number two is on, pulling 8.5 amps. Just kicked on a second ago. Let's see what our supply temp is like now. 69 and dropping. We're pulling back 86 degree air though. So let's let that run for a little bit. See what happens. Alright guys, that does it for this one. 
Like I said, we're gonna quote a new disconnect, swap that out. By the time I get back, these condensing coils will be probably plugged solid with cottonwood, so we'll also recommend those be cleaned. And I also measured for our metal screens here over the economizer, and we'll get some of those on order as well. Uh, but I don't see anything else alarming. The belt looks good. I know I didn't show it on camera, but the uh, pulleys look decent for their age. They had a little bit of wear inside, but I'm uh, not too concerned about those, honestly. So, it is what it is for now. Alright guys, be safe out there. I'll see you when I see you.